Hey everyone, it's Van Juan. I'll be doing a different video for you guys. I've got a lot of requests to do a guitar lesson for the song Red Bone by Childish Gambino. Yeah, I know, it's been three years now, so it's my first guitar lesson. And I kind of like the idea, so maybe I'll be doing more because I want you guys to be able to play whatever you like. So before we start, sorry for my English. If there is something I said that you don't understand, just leave me a comment and I'll try my best to help you. Let's get started. To play the intro, you have to put the capo on the 6th fret and we are going to play in the standard tuning. Let's start with the first bar. You will play the 2nd, the 3rd, and fourth string. When you play the F major 7 chord, you have to hit the guitar with the palm of your hand at the same time, like that. The movement is really in the wrists, so you don't have to move all your arm. After doing it, you play the first string with the ring finger, Okay, so if you are not sure which fingers to use on the left and right hand, you can follow the lesson with the taps. To clarify, the right hand we use alphabet, P is for the thumb, I is for the index, M is for the middle finger, and A is for the ring finger. And the left hand we use numbers, so 1, 2, 3, and 4. So next, after you play this, you have to flick your middle finger down on the F major 7 chord. Okay, so you have to also add the 4th finger on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. Okay, so how do you do this? The technique is called nail attack. The sound we're looking for is a sharp and percussive sound. Usually we play with the middle and ring finger for the nail attack. But for this cover, I use only the middle finger. Don't forget to quickly release your middle finger to make uh, the strings breathe. You don't want uh, this sound. So quickly release your middle finger. All right. Also, you make a percussive sound with the thumb on the fifth string at the same time. Like that. Make sure you practice this technique because we're going to use it a lot in this cover. All right. After that, you play the second string uh, on the 1st fret. Okay, after this part, you play... So, ring finger on the 2nd string, thumb on the 6th string. You also have to hit the guitar with the palm of your hand at the same time. Okay. Next, third string. Nail attack on the fourth and third string. And then you're going to play those strings. Okay. I'll play the first bar slowly for you guys. Again. Faster.
Now, at the second bar, you hit the guitar body with the palm of your hand. Afterwards, you flick all your fingers on the body. Like that. To do that, you have to place all your fingers behind the thumb, okay? And you want to release your fingers one by one, starting with the fifth finger. Okay? If you want to practice this technique, I do it on my leg or on the table sometimes when I don't have my guitar with me. So do it slowly and try doing it faster. We want to hear every hit. We don't want it to sound like this. So do it slowly and then try doing it faster. Okay? After this, hammer on on the second fret, thumb on the body, and middle and ring finger hitting the side of the guitar. Use your wrist to do this. Okay? Again, the beginning of the second bar. Okay? Body, flick, hammer on, thumb, and side of the guitar. Okay? All right. Next, we add nail attack with the thumb hitting the fifth string, upstroke with the index. Okay? So what we have so far? Again. Okay? Now, we are going to finish with the strum down with the index, okay? Hammer on on the second fret again of the third and fourth string. Nail attack on A minor. And then play uh, the first string of the, uh, on the third fret. Okay, again the second bar. Okay, now I will play the first and second bar together. Again. For the third bar, play the F major 7 chord with the palm of your hand. Next, we hit again the nail attack on the same chord. Okay, again. After your thumb is already on the fifth sh string after the nail attack, so you play the fifth string again. All together. After that, you play this string while hitting with the palm of your hand and hammer on on the first fret of the second string, like that. We don't want to play these strings at the, at the same time. We want it sound like this. 
not like this. Next, nail attack and then A minor. I'll play the third bar slowly for you guys. Again. So this is what it sounds like all together. At the fourth bar, we hit the guitar, play the fifth string, and nail attack on the A minor chord. Okay? Like that. After that, you have to keep those fingers there because you will play the fourth, third, and second string but you will only need to release the first finger. Okay, again. So, the fourth, third, and second string. Okay, after, nail attack on A minor. And we are finished with the first string, with the ring finger. I'll play again this bar. Now this is bar one, two, three, and four all together. Okay. After you play those bars, you will repeat the first and second bar. I will play again the first six bars. For this bar, we already know this. The next part will be... Okay, so after you play the 6th string, you play the 2nd and 3rd at the same time, hammer on on the 3rd fret. Nail attack, release the fourth string, uh, fourth uh, finger, and then A minor. Okay, again, so sixth string, hammer. 
number one, nail attack, and A minor. Okay, everything together. Okay, again. Last measure, you hit the guitar body with the palm of your hand. Fifth string, nail attack on the A minor chord, and the fifth string again, like that. Yeah. Okay, and we finish with this riff. Okay, this finger pressing on the 4th and 3rd string. Okay, hammer on on the 7th fret. Release the finger and play those strings again. After, slide down the 7th to 5th fret. After, you play the 3rd fret. And we're finished with this note on the sixth string. Okay, I'll play the last bar a couple of times. everything together. That's it everyone, that is the entire intro, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know which song you would want me to teach you next. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, uh, two weeks ago I released a new cover on my Spotify account, it's called Notion by Tal Sultana. I'll leave the link down below, go listen and follow me. Alright guys, see you next time.